hello everyone i hope all you are doing very good in your life today in this video we are going to derive an equation for energy density or einstein coefficient this derivation may appear in your video exam for 8 to 10 marks very important question or very important derivation so don't skip any part of the video before i start the derivation i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel don't forget to share with your friends like and give a feedback in a comment section so initially we already discussed all the stimulated absorption absorption spontaneous emission and stimulated emission uh, part in a previous video by clicking i button here you can see that video and come back to the derivation part okay in this case of stimulated absorption initially electron stays in a ground state energy level that we take it as e1 once um, the energy is absorbed by this electron it will go to the higher state energy level this process we call it as stimulated m absorption and in the case of spontaneous emission electron initially stays at a higher state energy level that is e2 without any stimulation it will come back to the ground state energy level by emitting extra energy whichever the energy absorbed during stimulated absorption in the third case stimulated emission after stimulating the electron by using photoelectric stimulation or electric stimulation this electron will come back to the ground state energy level that is e2 to e1 by emitting two extra radiation this method or this process we call it as stimulated emission so in the case of stimulated absorption when electron state at the ground state energy level the rate of absorption is directly proportional to number of n1 electrons in ground state e1 electron e1 state and utilized some energy that is u nu the rate of absorption proportional to n1 u nu is the n1 is the number of electron present in the ground state energy level u nu is the energy absorbed by this electron to move towards the higher state energy level and if i find out the rate of absorption if i remove this proportionality by using einstein coefficient that b 1 to 2 means electron is moving from ground state to higher state energy level so that's why b 1 to 2 n 1 u nu in this is the rate of absorption is b 1 to n 1 u nu in the case of spontaneous emission electron already in the higher state energy level so that the rate of spontaneous emission is directly proportional to number of electron present in n2 that is e2 level and without any stimulation it come back to the ground state energy level to remove the proportionality constant we can use equal to a 2 to 1 means transition of electron making from higher state to ground state that is e2 to e1 so a 2 to 1 into n2 n2 is the number of electron present in the higher state energy level and at the last stimulated emission once again the electron is already present in the higher state energy level once the rate of stimulated emission is directly proportional to number of electron present in the higher state en energy level that is n2 some amount of energy will be absorbed for a stimulation process that is u nu okay to remove proportionality con proportionality we use one constant that is b21 n2 is the number of electron present in higher state energy level u nu is the energy absorbed by that electron from get to stimulation this is the process here we got three equation one equation is for rate of absorption second equation for rate of spontaneous emission third equation is for rate of stimulated emission so in the next process here we are going to add all these three equation for example rate of absorption that is b 1 2 2 1 2 n 1 u nu is equals to rate of spontaneous emission that is a 2 1 n 2 plus the rate of stimulated emission that is 
b21 n2 u nu so in the next step these two term will write it in one side that means u nu u nu will be common u nu into b12 n1 minus p21 n2 is equals to a21 n2 okay here we are calculating the energy energy so u nu will be stay here and remaining this term will be come this side then we can write it as u nu is equals to a21 n2 into bracket 1 by b12 n1 minus b21 n2 so solve this equation we get is equals to a21 n2 into bracket here b21 n2 will be take outside then the equation can be written it as b12 n1 divided by b21 n1 b21 n2 minus 1 so here we can write b21 n2 so common part n2 n2 will get cancelled ultimately equation remains where a21 by b21 into bracket we can write 1 by b12 n1 divided by b21 n2 minus 1 as we know that Boltzmann constant or Boltzmann formula where it says n2 by n1 is equals to e raised to minus of delta e by kt so this is the Boltzmann equation keep it inside the box now substitute in here in the above equation and at the same time we can take b12 equals to p21 then the above equation we can write it as equals to a21 divided by b21 into 1 by b12 and b21 will get cancelled because here we considered both are equal so n1 by n2 where n here the Boltzmann equation is n2 by n1 but in the equation is n1 by n2 so that's why we can write it as n1 n1 by n2 is equals to 1 by e raised to delta e by kt so if it comes it will come denominator to numerator then we can write it as e raised to delta e by kt minus 1 instead of writing delta e here we can write it as h nu so that the ultimate equation will be like this a21 and b21 into 1 by e raised to h nu by kt minus 1 this is u nu so keep it inside the box and let's compare this equation with the Planck's equation let's compare the this equation with the, that we can write it as u nu is equals to 8 pi h nu cube by c cube into bracket 1 by e raised to h nu by kt kt minus 1 if we compare these two equation the common part will be cancelled out like this one and this one this one and this one will get cancelled remaining term will be like 
this we can write it as 8 pi h nu cube by c cube is equals to a to 1 and b to 1 this is the equation where we can find out the energy so that we can write the this equation when we consider or when we are going to neglect a to 1 and b b to 1 can be written it as a and b the ultimate equation we can write it as u nu is equals to a by b into 1 by e raised to h nu by kt minus 1 this is the final equation for an einstein coefficient or energy density einstein coefficient for energy density i hope all you got to know whatever i try to explain it here don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to my channel press the bell icon this is the end of the derivation this is the final equation for energy de derivation with this let's wrap up the video thank you